does the stomach turn? When last we left Marion, she had just heard that a kissing bandit was on the loose in Canoga Falls. So you're the kissing bandit. <laughs> yes, Marion. Yes, I am. Tell me, how did you become the kissing bandit? Oh, Marion, I'm so ashamed of it. I don't want to talk about it, please. Perhaps if I turn down the lights. Marion, can I trust you not to say anything? My lips are sealed. I wish mine were, Marion. I've got this incredible, unleashed, needed desire to grab any woman that I see and to hold her and to kiss her. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not unusual for a beautiful woman to arrive. No, 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 no. Not just beautiful women. Any woman, Marion. Any woman? Well, within reason. <laughs> Last week alone, Marion, I kissed 43 women in the park, and now the police are after me. Why? Well, the last one, tall blonde, was a police decoy. Oh, how awful. Well, actually, he wasn't that bad. <laughs> Why, is there always a policeman around when you don't need them? <laughs> I've tried everything in the world, Marion, to stop. I even got married. This compulsion, I guess, is destroying my life. It's ruining me. I lost my job. I lost my money. Your money? I lost my money, Marion. This is a very expensive <laughs> sickness. Last month alone, it cost me $200 for chapsticks. But then, Marion, why am I involving you in my kissing problem? Nonsense. What are friends for? That might be the door. You might be right. Is it safe for me to hide in the kitchen? Yes, it's the maid's day off. But don't stand too close to the refrigerator. It may defrost. I'm coming. Hello, who are you? Don't you recognize me, Mother? Why, it's my teenage daughter who struck a blow for women's lib and became a construction worker. I even made it into the union. Yes, I see you paid your dues. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what have you been doing, dear? Well, I'm working on a building with 26 stories. Oh. Who's the baby's father? That's another story. <laughs> Gee, I'd sure like to hear it sometime, but I oh, think... Mother, listen, be awfully careful. There's a kissing bandit loose in the neighborhood. Oh, really? Yes, and there's a huge reward for the one who catches him. You're telling me. Good idea. <laughs> Wally! <laughs> Wally? You called? Uh -huh. uh, what is it, Wally? Uh, I think I'm getting one of my spells. Yeah, I am, I am. My heart is pounding. Yes? And my arms are aching. Oh, good, good. Oh, and my lips are feverish, Marion. Yes. Marion, I have no right to ask you this. Oh, go ahead, ask, ask. Do you mind if I take a cold shower? Mm. All right, upstairs, first door on your right. Yeah. Oh, Wally, would you do me a favor? Huh? When you're finished, leave the water running. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. Sinners Anonymous. Marion, you know how we work. Yes. If a woman feels the urge to sin, she just calls us. And you come over and give her a headache. <laughs> Marion, there's been a rumor about you in the neighborhood. What kind of a rumor? Well, that you were having coffee with a handsome man with a mustache. Why would you believe a thing like that? Because I've been standing out your window on my drum looking for over an hour. <laughs> Mr. Amy, you are a snoop, a meddler, a busybody, and a fanatic. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to ask you to leave. Oh, Marion? <laughs> I know who is upstairs taking a shower. Who? 
the notorious kissing bandit. How did you know that? Well, because last week, Sister Marie was out collecting money in the park, and that man in your shower jumped out of the bushes, grabbed her, kissed her, hugged her, broke her tambourine and everything. <laughs> How awful. Is she all right? Oh, no, but she's on suspension till she wipes that smile off her face. <laughs> she may not be back for months. Marion, Marion. Beware, beware. Don't give in to temptation. Please, Marion, don't give in. No, just one moment of ecstasy and you will spend the rest of your life repenting. Sounds fair to me. I am afraid this is gonna be a tough one. I'd better call Sister Rochelle, who's over at the Widow Walsh's house, and see if she can come and help me. Don't tell her everything. Sister Rochelle should know better than that. What? Sending an obscene drum message. <laughs> Look, well, why don't you get out of here and go help her? Marion, before I go, I just want to say something to help you through this crisis. Oh. Something just simple and direct and honest like. Repent! 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 Have I been of help to you, Marion? Just what I needed. <laughs> Hello. Will you stop beating that drum? That's my heart. <laughs> well? Was not bad for a drummer. Amy, you're a disgrace to Sisters Anonymous. You should be drummed out of the business. Yeah. <laughs> Bring in in the sheep. you took certainly didn't do you much good. You're right, you're right, Marion. I'm getting sicker by the moment. Uh, What's happening, Wally? I'm getting another spell. Wonderful. And you're a woman. Yes, I am. And you've good lips. Two of them. Oh, Marion. Oh, kissing bandit. Oh. oh, no. Will you get it? I'm trying. The door, the door. Oh. Which way to turn? I mean, you, you've got lovely lips and a great build, and you. <laughs> Marion, you. Well. Yes. You've got a charming personality and a super shower. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Halt in the name of the law! Oh. <laughs> well, now who are you? Why, it's Officer Mullaney, Canoga Falls' most versatile police decoy. You didn't remember me? <laughs> It was kind of dark, and, uh... It's all right. I get it. Uh. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to run you in, Mac. No, wait, wait, please. Be 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 before you do, do you mind if I have one last kiss? All right, but make it fast. <laughs> oh. 
There'll be 30 extra days because of lack of back to pay. <laughs> I'll take that again. That's 30 extra days for a lack of taste. What? There's something you should know. What is it that Marion has to say? What about Wally? Will his lawyer manage to get him a jail cell with a window so that he can at least blow kisses? <laughs> and what about Sister Amy? Will she resign from Sinners Anonymous to go into business for herself? <laughs> and what about Marion's daughter? Will she go on being a hard hat and a soft touch? <laughs> and what about Officer Mullaney? What makes him so mean? Is it the low pay and long hours? Or is it because his girdle is killing him? <laughs> and what about Marion herself? Will the kissing bandit be released in her custody? Or will he be given six months at hard labor? Or is it the same thing? <laughs> For the answer to these and other burning questions, tune in tomorrow as the stomach turns.